The last two people charged after the massive 90-mile beach methamphetamine bust in 2016 have been sentenced today to lengthy prison terms. Stevie Norua Cullen and Selaima Fakawa Selea appeared in the High Court at Whangarei today before Justice Gordon. Lois Williams was there. In June 2016, Kaitaia police, acting on a tip-off, found nearly half a tonne of meth in a camper van and stashed in the sandhills near Ahipara. Skeptical locals have been watching a group of men driving flash cars, trying to launch a boat, damaging it, and then hearing off to Auckland to buy another one worth $90,000. They claimed they were burying a friend's ashes at sea. The two Asian men in the group eventually made the pickup from a boat waiting offshore. Six people are already in prison after admitting their roles in the country's biggest ever meth haul. But Cullen and Fakao Siler denied the charges of importing Class A drugs and being part of an organised criminal group. They were convicted after a jury trial in June. At their sentencing today, their lawyers suggested the pair had played relatively minor roles compared to the major players, including two Tongan men and two from Hong Kong. But Justice Gordon was having none of it. She said Cullen had been a trusted lieutenant and chauffeur who organised boats, cars and motels for the group. And Fakao Salia, who'd been painted at her trial as a Tonga blonde, was no naive pawn, as her counsel claimed. Instead, she'd played an important role in handling communications and large amounts of cash. Once it was apparent that an alternative means of landing the methamphetamine was required, the purchase of a boat was necessary. Members of the Northland Group travelled to Auckland for that purpose. I have determined on the evidence that you were the person, Blaze, who provided the money for the boat. That indicates a high level of trust in you. You were not the naive pawn. A cultural report done for the court claimed Cullen had returned home to Hawke's Bay, hoping to set up a vineyard on Fano land but couldn't raise the finance, and succumbed to the offer of making some fast cash by helping to import methamphetamine. He believed his problems in raising the money were down to the colour of his skin. The Crown lawyer Richard Annandale rejected that. There are a great number of successful Māori people in our population and in our community. To claim, as the report writer seems to do, that Mr Cullen was at a disadvantage because of his Māori ethnicity would, in my submission using the Court of Appeal uh, citation I've just referred to, appear to some a proposition that is offensive. Justice Gordon sentenced Cullen to 27 years, with a minimum period of nine years in prison. And she sentenced Fakao Selea to 12 years and six months, on top of the 14-year prison sentence previously handed down for dealing in meth and cocaine. She'll have to serve at least seven years behind bars. In Whangarei for Checkpoint, Lois Williams.